Yeah, it's pretty new. This is the part you don't want to watch because I'm really impatient and kind of shit at balancing stuff. Just going to take the lens cap off. Next bit. Very cool, mate. You know I'm going to turn it on now even though it's the shittest balance ever. <laughs> you know that's going to happen, right? Okay. Bisexual man. Are you doing a YouTube video now? Yeah, do you want to see something cool? Yeah. What's this? Will you be in the YouTube channel? Okay, so, you ready? I'm going to go into here and turn that on. Dial these guys down. And dial those guys up. Are you ready? What's this? Yeah. So in theory I should be able to remote control the gimbal movement and zoom and focus using this fairly rudimentary device. The little transmitter receiver system does both vision, which I probably wouldn't rely on. I'm going to use the Komodo's inbuilt Wi-Fi for my vision feed for this one. But if you connect this little cable to the camera control port, and then I've turned on the transmitter, this is my receiver. They've got little inbuilt batteries, which is kind of handy. I don't know how long they last for yet, but it remains to be seen. And then you connect that to this motion sense controller which has its own battery in it and that battery will actually pass charge through to this receiver which is also here. So now, so anyone who saw my last video on the Crane 3S would have heard me complaining about this little remote which I need desperately to be able to control this for car mount stuff. Zoom did get back to me and they told me about a secret little setting that's nowhere in the manual so if you're wanting to move the gimbal but you don't care about controlling the camera you need to go into the back of the little gimbal menu which I just took off into this guy and you need to tell it that the camera you want to use is CCS I don't even know what that stands for but it meant that I was now able to control it so now I've got with this little rocker here I can pan and tilt the camera which is cool and if I switch this guy on here that enables the motion sense. So now I can roll, pan and tilt. So we got the Komodo with an Ongino EZ2 mounted on the crane gimbal. And we've got it wirelessly monitoring through the Wi-Fi red control app on an iPad mini. And we're basically looking for a spot where we can hang it out the window like a couple of dickheads because next week we have to shoot a music video with this using car mounts. The car mounts haven't arrived yet. So what better way to figure out if this thing can handle wind and car movement and all the other insane variables shooting outside cars than just using your arm and hanging it out the window. So yeah, this should be either hugely successful or a massive viral video. So let's see what happens. All right, should we... Uh Hang this bastard out the side of the window. Let's do it. Like the road train. Getting it out of the window could be the major challenge. Thanks to red control, we can roll. All you have to do, you've got all your settings here, and if you just pinch on the monitor, you get to go full screen. And let's roll. I got my little remote here if I want to pan and tilt. Let's see what it looks like. Right. Let's do it.
that's with the crane motors on the third to highest setting. So I've still got two strength settings that I could go above that. So I think I'm on medium high at the moment and I could go high and then ultra. Um, so I could tell when I was starting to pan, it was crapping out a little bit out in the wind, which isn't surprising. But it's a $2,000 gimbal. It's a $2,000 gimbal. And it's holding that 6K, 50 frames a second. I couldn't get these focus and zoom motors to work, but it looks like I will be able to with a little bit more time. But we've got a six hour drive ahead of us, so we might get on with that. But um, nice work team.